So I'm gonna keep it real. I really didn't expect to take most of November off. I think I only uploaded like two times so far this month. Um, well, technically it's about to be three because you guys, you guys are about to see this video. Um, but I can explain. Um, your boy has a new puppers, bro. Yo, Teddy, say what's up to the viewers, man. Yo. Um, so yeah, I got a new dog. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's been kind of, you know, challenging me in a way. You know, being a new pet owner, like I, I, I've never had any experience dealing with pets before. Um, you know, it, it's basically like I'm taking care of another life, you know, like I got to watch him 24 7 it, it, It's definitely like a more responsibility So I kind of had to dedicate like a, a, a pretty big chunk to watch him and whatnot and also I got sick So um, imagine doing that when I'm sick and like I just didn't have any time to upload or anything like that And also working on like some stream stuff in the background and whatnot, but today we're gonna continue some stuff. We're gonna continue Demon Slayer, but yo, Demon Slayer season two, Mugen Train Arc, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. I know I see you guys in the comments like, oh, Ivory, um, it's just the movie, bro. You know this ain't season two, but I know I know it's the movie. I'm calling it season two because technically this is just the first arc of season two because the second arc is gonna be the Entertainment District arc. So deal with it. See everybody, I hope you guys do understand. I know my schedule is like strange sometimes. Sometimes I'm like super consistent. Sometimes I'm just fucking ghosting but hey you know regardless i'm still here i'm still trying to have fun with y'all i'm still trying to vibe right so yeah um i believe in these uh, we got to watch episode four through six i think episode the last episode of the movie train art comes out tomorrow I, I might have that separately since that has the uh the scene that i, I don't know if i'm ready for again um but yeah I, I, hopefully we get to see um you know the big fight uh in these series of episodes uh, I'm pretty sure or at least part of it. But yeah guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe like always guys We're on the way of hitting that 200,000 subscribers together and also super easy takes like one second of course Yes, can always change your mind later, right? But anyways, let's get it. All right last episode Tanjiro um He killed himself. Oh, yeah, so this dude's inside Tanjiro's soul He's getting all soft now because Tanjiro's soul is like beautiful as fuck, you know, it looks nice in there Bro, imagine this guy actually went through and fucking destroyed Tanjiro's core and Tanjiro's own core tried it, like led the dude straight to it Oh nice death. Ooh, shit. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't even remember that happening. That looked cool uh, Yeah, dude. I don't even remember him like dropping through like the water and stuff like that. That looked dope as hell See, this is why I'm re-watching the Mugen Train arc with you guys cuz you know, I think I got a pretty good memory, but sometimes, you know, I miss some stuff. I forget some stuff. All right, dude, episode four, insult. So I already know um, what this alludes to. So um, I have a feeling uh, that's going to be dope as hell when we see it. We are, oh my God, in Nosuke's core, dude. I, I totally forgot about this. No, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to agree with her. I, I, yo, Inosuke's core is just like, what the fuck, dude? Look at him, bro. He looking crazy right now. I find it really strange that Inosuke's like, like, he has like an actual like boar mouth now. It looks weird as fuck. Oh, this is Zen's core. Okay. I remember this one. This man, Zenitsu, is the hugest, biggest Omega ultra simp known to man bro i swear that boy struggled he said shit get me out of zen's head yo they're like shit i didn't sign up for this man i'm trying to get out of here ah Tan yay dude that shit is that shit is rough Chink. ah bro that's just ah dude that shit is tough man once again dude that that man tanjiro is legit i don't care what nobody says that that man is like actually about that let's go once again i don't know why you head butted your brother you know his head is like built with motherfucking titanium steel that man right goku still still got the girl in the bite check bro you can't forget about that shit uh seems we're under attack what's new in demon slayer am i right literally all tanjiro has to do is headbutt each and every single one of them bro they will wake their ass up Dude, I love how Tanjiro's like, yo, <laughs> this one is just like, yo, it's just no problemo, bro. I'm like, sorry, dude, I, I gotta go fight. I don't know about you guys, you guys gotta go to sleep. Just one tap, boom. Oh, you you definitely about to be having dreams after that, shit. Okay, so right now, this is like the first, like, actual, I guess, like, big fight. So I wonder if they're gonna actually change anything um, in, in regards to scenes. I'm still, I'm still trying to look out for stuff. But I'm gonna give it real. Honestly, so far, everything has been, like, basically the same. Ooh, ooh. Okay, no, Enmu looks kind of sick right there. I'm not even gonna front. Dude, okay, yeah, I, I forget, yo. That man Enmu was talking reckless, dude. I forgot about that shit. That man Tanjiro molding right now. Gotta get that mold power going on. I mean, I'm gonna keep it real, dude. I feel like it'd be easier to destroy their core if Enmu shows them a, a bad dream or like a nightmare, I guess. I, I, I feel like it'd be easier. Unless they need a happy dream to expose the core itself. 
but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I feel like this is like one of those moments where it's like, oh, you know, I'm flexing my powers, and then you know, I don't know, just anime, just you know, just normal anime shit. You know when the veins popping out, bro? Dude, Tanjiro looking like a demon right now. He got the he got the veins and shit. See, this is cool right now because now I know the one on the right is Daki, so that's pretty dope. Like, I don't know, like, just rewatching the Mugen Train, I forget they actually show, like, the silhouettes of the upper moons. Forced unconscious hypnosis. That must be a mouthful, Enmu, if you have to, like, say that or, like, subconsciously say that every time you use your ability. Bro, imagine having to, like, off yourself, like, every, like, five seconds, because this man keeps spamming his goddamn abilities. Like, we're for real getting, like, zoned out here. Oh, wait, is this the one? Where okay, yeah. This was sick as fuck when I saw this. Like, dude, the whole vibes changed in the theater. We're like, oh, shit. Once again, though, I feel like Enmo, you should have just kept showing him shit like this, you know? Like, imagine if Tanjo saw this for the first time and he he didn't have, I guess, like, the, the experience of already being in Enmu's dreams. That boy would have been shook as fuck. Like, Enmu probably would have won. Yeah, I love the color scheme, too. Like, everyone's kind of, like, grayed out and highlights and shit. The mod levels are reaching critical. That man is. Oh, it's power. Oh, it's it's, it's, exp it's expanding. Oh, there it is. The insult. Yeah, that's kind of. I already knew that the insult was kind of referring to that. Sheesh. Yo, one tapped, man. Easy clap. All right, end of the arc. All right, come on. Can we can we see the fucking entertainment district arc already? Please. The CGI transformation. Oh my god. Yes, please, Enmu, explain to me your, your villainous plan, man, while we while we stand here. This was like the most like, I was like, wait, what? That man fused with the motherfucking train? And then like, I thought back, I'm like, oh, so Inosuke was right about like, something's wrong with the train. So I don't know. It was kind of funny. I really love how you photobo the CGI though. Like it looks like actually like really good. Like it blends so well with, with everything. I mean, obviously you can still tell it's 3D and, and whatnot. And like obviously people just like CGI equals bad, but like nah, like for real, like it looks really good. I'm telling you, Tanjiro, all you gotta do is headbutt them and they're gonna wake up. <laughs> I forgot Nezuko just roast this man alive. No, I never really thought about this, but like Inosuke's head is strong enough to break through solid steel of a train. Dog, imagine that if Tanjiro was able to give Inosuke a, a, a concussion. Tanjiro, dude, he, just use your head against everybody. You literally can kill anybody. Of course, this man, Inosuke, always got to get the one up on Tanjiro real quick. He said, yo, so I was right all along. Y'all wouldn't listen to me, but hey, here we are, right? Yo, pause, dude. Enmu, come on, man. He knows what he's doing. Okay, yeah, Nezuko, okay, she had to turn Super Saiyan real quick. She got that Mario mushroom up in here. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, like, I have the headphones on right now, and like, oh, like the tentacle sounds, dude, like, like fucking ASMR shit right here. You know what time it is, bro. Yo, Zanisu, you gotta come save your girl. Oh, theater went crazy when this happened. <laughs> oh my god, that, that's so sick. It went, like, you see, like, his light fly through, like, the, the, the passenger windows. That's, that's sick as fuck. Um, Zanisu, that's, I think that's basically all he does in this whole arc. I think like that's the only like big scene that Zenitsu has. And then like Inosuke and Tanjiro right now, they just they just gotta carry. Guess who's awake right now though? The goat himself. Okay, that pose was pretty fucking sick, dude. Yo, I I'll say it again, man. It looks so good. Holy shit. This man basically can fly. Like, holy shit. This man Rengoku's so overpowered. Now I I love that Tanjiro and Inosuke are kind of like the the main duo uh that kind of takes on enemy right now I, I i really like that a lot they have really good um uh, chemistry when they when they fight together like enemy you couldn't choose like a more aesthetically uh you know appealing design than like some like grotesque guts and tentacles and arms and shit oh uh, okay this fight is sick though when he brings the eyes out Yo, like the setting right now, I'm sorry. Like this whole segment is just fucking awesome as shit. I remember when this happened. I'm like, yo, Tanjiro, you gotta chill. That man in no skin to go for that shit. That man said, yo, you can't go out in such a lame ass way, bro. Like, come on now. Get, the, get your shit together. I also like how they kind of incorporate like Inosuke's like design. Like he has a boar mask on, so like it's really like, it's actually hard to tell, like, when he's actually, like, looking at something since he has a mask on. The dynamic duo right here, bro. Oh, God, dude. This, I'm sorry. When they fight together, it's sick as hell. Oh, my God, dude. I forgot how good, like, the sequence looks and the music and everything. Holy shit. We got to hit us with that Hinokami. With that clear blue sky. Ooh. Holy shit, man. I know, like, everybody...
I know everybody kind of is like, yo, like this next fight that's coming up is like, obviously, it's still my main standout of, of this entire arc. But like, people honestly forget about this Enmu fight. This Enmu fight, the, the sequences, the settings and whatnot, just the way that they kind of have to go about it to beat Enmu, it's sick as hell. I'm, I'm keeping it real. That shit is sick as fuck. Episode 6. Akaza. Ooh, and they got the, they got the snowflake there. That is cool as hell. I'm sorry, man. I'm glad that they're putting like these little like tidbits um, for people that's, oh, uh, that's sick. That's sick. Bro, this man Tanjiro, even when he's like midair about to die and everything, he's like, yo, I got to protect this random ass conductor because if I die, he'll become a murderer. Like, Jesus. That man Tanjiro got like a heart of gold out here, I swear. Bro, Inosuke, help this man out. He about to bleed to death, dude. This man trying to flex right now. Bro, and I'm gonna keep it real. You do that to yourself, bro. I feel like you, dude, you had so much potential. You trash, bro. I'm sorry. I gotta say, you, you trash, man. For real, you couldn't devour one human. You couldn't have one casualty on your side. You're, you're trash. I, I, I can't, you know, I can't sugarcoat it. Yeah, and you got that Zenkai boost from Muzan, too. These shots right here of everyone's like element it's sick that's sick i don't know for some reason like with the music and everything this scene is oddly it, i wouldn't say it's like sad but it is kind of sympathetic but like at the same time like it's not i don't know it's a weird feeling the upper six i just noticed this dude has no arms on the left what the fuck nah dude enemy you got one shot and guess what you blew it bitch you trash Rip bozo, man. Happy ending for everybody. Let's go. You know, sun's rising up. Dawn's coming, bro. What else could happen? Fuck. The fucking music, bro. Hold on. This is top 10 cleanest soundtracks ever in an anime that I, at least I've heard, bro. Top 10. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. The, okay, these little uh, eye catchers are dope. Ooh. That's sick as fuck. Upper three. Ooh, seeing this in an episode format is strange. I'm gonna keep it real. I haven't seen anything different though so far. I don't know if I'm just blind, but uh, yeah. We quick with it. We quick with it. Okay. Nah, it's time. It's time. I'm sorry. It's not. You know, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. I feel like the highlight of the Mugen Train arc for like basically everybody. Personally, I think this fight right here is one of the greatest fights in, in anime that I've seen. And, and keep in mind, I said one of, bro. I know, I know those fucking elitists out here are like, yeah, what about this and that? Like, I said one of. Of course, there's a lot of great fights, but personally, this is one of my favorites. And uh, personally, I think this is one of the greatest. And we about to watch it. This man goes like, yo, I just seen your ass. I already hate you. It's also really interesting how Akaza calls Rengoku by like his his actual like first name, Yojiro. I think that's that's really interesting to show like his kind of like he, he's really trying to connect with him. I remember seeing this in theaters and seeing an Upper Moon for the first time. Everyone was like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, August was like, "All right then, hold on, hit me with that, <laughs> hit me with that destructive death." <laughs> this. Dude, this soundtrack is so fucking fire. This soundtrack is so, it's so fucking fire. I'm sorry, bro. I'm freaking out right now. It's midnight. I don't care. The snowflake, man, is so iconic right now. This shit is so hard. I'm sorry. Dude, some of these shots, dude, that, I'm sorry. They're going to be like so iconic for like years down the line, bro. Ah, oh, this fight is so good. Holy shit. And then August was basically saying, like, bro, no one got hands like I do. Nobody, bruh. Dude, like, this fight gets those, that adrenaline pumping, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it was like the air type. Yep. This man, August is so overpowered, bro. I wonder how many of, like, his destructive death types does he have? Okay, okay, okay. I gotta say this real quickly, and this isn't to dog on, on the, the, I guess, the TV version of the Mugen Train arc, but trust me. This shit hits different in theaters, man. In in the movie version in this part, the theater ver like if you watch this in theaters, y'all know what I'm talking about. This like right now, I'm getting like hyped as fuck, obviously. Like and I'm rewatching this. I've played the game version of this. I've watched the movie version of this <laughs> twice. So it's like I've seen this a couple of times already. But even watching it right now with you guys, the TV version I'm bro, my heart is still pumping. I'm still here for it. Like I'm still hyped as fuck. But trust, if I could have somehow brought all you guys with me, and we saw this motherfucking version in theaters, holy shit, bro. 
Like, obviously, it's not like I can, like, scream in theater. Well, I guess people were screaming in theaters. But, like, you know what I'm just saying? Like, the theater version hits just totally different, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, Akiza's fists have to... Ha they, they have to be made out of some type of fucking vibranium steel, bro. Like, uh, you know, Rengoku occasionally cuts his limbs off. But, like, that dude is hitting his sword, like, head on with his fists. I remember at this moment, we're like, okay, um, you know, Rengoku, we can stop playing around now, man. You know, oh, you, can, you can start trying now, bro. So far, we've never seen, like, any of the Hashira struggle against any demons. And then Agusa comes out of nowhere in Rengoku, which so far we've seen is, like, fucking, the, basically, like, the strongest right now. At least that we've seen. It's like, bro. <laughs> that man Rengoku is struggling against, like, Akaza. I do think that this fight is more so a battle of attrition since Rengoku can't heal. So, like, any damage dealt to Rengoku, like, that shit is, like, fatal. The finesse, though. You see that shit? In Akaza, he got his... He got fucking re re regeneration 100 up in here, bro. He maxed out all his fucking vitality stats, his health boosting, everything. Oh, there goes our eye. We're half blind now. Ribs cracked. Bleeding. Lungs probably on the verge of collapsing because we're using all the all, all our forms. Oh, destructive death. Oh, he's gonna use the cool one. I can't. I forget what it's called. Like disruption or something. Disorder. <laughs> that, that looks sick as fuck, dude. We got no type of healing right now, bro. Wait, are they gonna show it in this episode? That's how they're gonna end it off. I bet. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I know. I know what's coming up. I think that'd be a sick way to end it off. See, Akasa, bro. You say like, let's fight more. All right. Hey, give me a second. Let me get a doctor to heal my wounds first, and then we can... Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? Uh, that's kind of... Uh, uh, I didn't like the way that ended off. They should have ended off with the motherfucking ninth form, dude. That would have been so sick. I, I, I know I can't be the only one that thinks that would have been like the perfect ending. It, it, ninth form, explosion, and then it just cuts. And then like, all the people that haven't seen this are like, oh my god, I wonder if Rengoku's attack worked. But like right now it's like, god damn it. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. They probably didn't, they probably need to fit that in so like the next episode has enough run time to actually work. Because we're basically like at the end of the arc. Like this is, this is the end. Wait, is this just, I assume this is just a preview, but like. Hold on, this looks like a new scene though. This doesn't look like a preview style type deal. Fuck, final episode, Say Your Heart Ablaze. I knew that shit was coming up. Damn, dude, really? That's crazy, and uh, Crunchyroll, once, I can't make this up, bro. Crunchyroll, once again, bro, I get it, dude. I don't know what the fuck Eno means, but I get it, I'm watching the Mugen Train movie, but Hey, I think, well, technically today is the final episode because uh, it's Sunday right now. So in a couple hours, I'll drop the final episode for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, that's going to do it for uh, this um, this uh, video. Uh, most likely, uh, this video will probably come up uh, like very close to the next video. So like if you're watching this right now and you, you want to see the next episode, uh, just, just go on my channel and click the next episode. So uh yeah. But yeah, guys, I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me, whether that's on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, MySpace, Tumblr, fucking Nokia text message, whatever the fuck, right? Um, I appreciate you guys um, for everything, man. Um, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Uh, it's been your boy, every dude. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps you boy out a lot. And we're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together, of course. Uh, but yeah, everybody, uh, it's been your boy, every, uh, and I'm out. Peace.